So my goal here is to not screw it up too bad. Ah, mother, that hurt. So we got a 1992 Yamaha 150. Uh, the model number is 150 TLRQ. And I've got some overheating issues. I've replaced the water pump already and uh, hasn't done anything for it. Um, I went ahead and pulled the thermostat off uh, a couple days ago, fired it up, and there was no water coming out of the thermostat hole, which means that there's no uh, coolant water getting up top here. So today I'm going to try to pull the water jacket and the head uh, off completely, maybe just the water jacket, and uh, see if I can't, uh, see if there's a blockage in there maybe. Okay, so I'm not a boat mechanic, so I'm gonna get the names of some of this stuff wrong, but I got a general idea of what I'm talking about here. Um, so this is the thermostat cover. Underneath here is a little thermostat. Um, when you pull that out, there's a hole that goes down into, that uh, kind of lets you see down into here. And uh, I think that these grooves are all blocked up with gunk because we live in a mucky lake. So uh, I'm gonna, gonna pull, try just to pull this, this cover off. I may end up pulling the, uh, the head off also in order to do this. I heard it might be easier to do that. So um, we will see. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is pull all six sparks plugs off, three on this side, three on the other. Good news is the motor's running fine, it's just not cooling properly. And I think I probably have to take the thermostat off because it looks like those bolts go all the way through. So four of those. And this little guy here, looks like maybe that comes off later. So these are uh, 10 millimeter top here. That's what I pulled off the other day and I noticed there was no water coming out of that thermostat. So the thermostat, it's got, there's a uh, gasket in here. The gasket looks like it's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of moisture in here, but uh, not enough. I just ran it over to the boat launch. So then the thermostat here, this is the thermostat. You can just kind of wiggle this out pretty easy. And thermostat looks fine. This is all running fresh water. But I got a suspicion that down in here, this is all gunked up, so we'll see. So if you notice on here, there are little numbers by each bolt. Um, it's my understanding that when you put this, when you're putting this on, you wanna put them on one through whatever, one through 18. When you're taking it off, you wanna loosen them up 18 through one. 18 is way down in here. I may have to uh, take the bottom cover off to get to it. I don't know. So 18 is way down here, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get a wrench or a socket on it. I'll probably have to get a wrench on it. Okay, now all the bolts are out. I don't know how to, uh, to separate this. There seems to be a little pry thing right here, one right there, one right there. I'll go grab a screwdriver. All right, and there's a gasket in here, it looks like, which I don't have. Bought a head gasket for it because I thought I was gonna take the head off too. And I didn't even think about this one. So my goal here is to not screw it up too bad. Ah, mother, that hurt. OK, 
Okay, it's loose. Get on this. And I'm a little disappointed because I don't know what I'm looking at here. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but I can see it's wet down here, but it's completely dry all throughout here. So I was expecting to see this gummed up with a bunch of gunk. That's not the case. So my next th question is, this right here, I think is some sort of little temperature sensor. And I just wonder if that's gone bad. That looks like a pretty easy replace. Maybe I just pop those off, buy a new one and put it back in. Slide it right back in there. That would be pretty easy. But it still has me worried that, that all of this is dry. This is, I believe this is all supposed to have water circulating throughout. All right guys, so uh, again, I'm not a boat mechanic and I was completely wrong in my assumptions here. I replaced the impeller at the beginning of the year because last year I was having an issue with water coming out of the telltale and the, uh, the overheating alarm was going off right at the very end of the season. I pulled the boat out, we were done with it. This uh, spring before I put the boat in, I replaced the water impeller, fired it up on the earmuffs. There was a good strong telltale coming out. So I thought the issue was fixed, ran around the lake a few times, the overheating alarm is going off again. So, did some research on the good old YouTube, and, um, you know, impeller's new, telltale's working, but the engine's overheating, so I pulled the thermostat cover off, pulled the thermostat out, no water was coming out of that hole while the engine was running, so that means water wasn't getting up through the jacket to that thermostat hole, so I thought the Thermo or the, thought the uh, water jacket um, around the heads was all gunked up and I just pulled those off and they're clean they're not gunked up so somewhere between I don't know the telltale and the bottom of the water jacket something is is clogged up and I got to figure out how to uh, how to dig in there I got a feeling I'm in for a bigger project than I wanted all right so the covers off um, I was expecting to see this all gunked up, and it's not, so, and this was completely dry. I had just run this 10, 20, half an hour before, and um, this was completely dry. No water was getting through here at all, so somewhere between the telltale and the, thir or the uh, thermostat, I've got an issue, so I don't know what I'm going to do because again, I'm not a boat mechanic. There is a little poppet valve down here. It's it's this guy. I don't know if you can see that. This guy right there. Get that out of the way. This guy right here. Um, I started to take that off. It's a little little tight. I'm going to try to take that off and see if that tells me anything because I believe the water. So the pop of valve is clear and there was water, a little bit of water in there. I don't know how much was supposed to be in there, but it looks like it was wet anyways. And there's a little star-shaped portion of this. Let's see if I can get it out. So that looks that looks freaking brand new to me. Alright, so not knowing what I'm doing and being the idiot that I am, I'm going to put the spark plugs back in without this water jacket cover on. I've got the poppet valve off. I'm going to put the muffs on, fire it up, see if I see any water coming out down here. See what I see coming up down here. I'm not sure if this is smart to do. I have a feeling it's not, just based on my past experience and lack of knowledge, so uh, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyways because it can't get any more broke than it is now. Or maybe that's, I shouldn't say that. Probably can't get a whole lot more broke. 
but we're gonna do it. The motor's 22 years old, both in pretty rough condition. I was gonna try to get a new boat this year, but Katie wanted a, a uh, new kitchen countertops. So that took precedence. So I am gonna reconnect the telltale hose. Well, that's the one part that is working properly. Okay, so for this first test, I'm going to be hoping that the water comes out right in that hole right there, the poppet valve. So, I don't know exactly what that'll tell me, but if I have water there, I know that's not the issue. Alright, so that didn't help out at all. I uh, couldn't even get the telltale to, to go with that poppet valve off. Couldn't really get the motor to even run, so I'm going to put it all back together. Make sure I can see my telltale spitting out of there and start over. Okay, we're back to the square one. Everything's put back together with the exception of the uh, thermostat and thermostat cover. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fire it up, see if I can get my telltale to come out of here. Um, it was coming out as I drove it across the lake while it was overheating. I haven't had an issue with that, but now I just tried to start it up a few minutes ago and it wouldn't come out. So I put everything back together. I'm going to see if I can get that to come back out and see where we're at. Okay. So, Telltale's working fine. No water is getting pumped up and through the thermostat still. Try to pull that poppet valve off, leave this all on, pull that poppet valve off and try it again. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure, but I think I should be able to see some water coming out right down here. So here's some of this electrical stuff up and out of the way. Hopefully. And wish me luck. you saw it, but I saw water pouring out of that poppet valve there. So, it doesn't mean much to me, but it means that's not the issue. Alright guys, so somewhere from the poppet valve to here is the issue, and I'm stumped. You saw I pulled this water jacket off, it looks fine. If any of you guys have any idea what I should be doing, please let me know in the comments, because I'm out of ideas other than pulling this off, which I don't know what that even is. And it looks like maybe if I pull this off, what's behind it, um, I may have to do that. So, but please let me know and uh, use simple words so, uh, to describe it. <laughs> okay, I'm not the brightest. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. It's not uh, behind here. Have no water coming out of the thermostats. Have a good telltale. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. And I put it all back together and I got this left over. So, can't figure out where that one goes either. Alright, took it all apart, put it all back together. Didn't find anything wrong.
Okay, now we are getting water out of the valve. So, my guess is this little guy, thermostat, would be my guess. Bad thermostat. If I pulled this all apart for a bad thermostat. Okay, so I got my new thermostats. I'll go ahead and uh, pop them in, pop the muffs on, and hopefully that solves my entire problem. Because I had put the old thermostats in some boiling water, and one of them opened about two, three millimeters, and the other one didn't. So I'm hoping that was my issue. for a little bit and uh, if I don't get an alarm I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the lake and hopefully we're good for the season. Damn. I was just about to turn it off. It was running for about five minutes. Everything was going good. No alarm. I was revving it up a little bit. Not too much. Just enough. I thought that was good, man. I thought that was good. Okay, so it's not the thermostat. The water passages, I don't believe, are clogged up. Pull up this, this, and whatever's behind here off. The only thing I didn't change to do is mess with this sensor. Mess with, uh, change this thermo sensor out. So it's hot. Thank you.